Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can read and write properties to the properties file. So in many scenarios uh, that we have seen, we have discussed that you could store your, you know, the common values or the properties into the external file and then read it, right? So in Java, there is uh, the file extension uh, that you can specify dot properties and then Java provides the properties class which can be utilized to read and write the values from that properties file. So let's understand how you can read the properties from the properties file and then also how you will write it to the properties file. And in the later part, we'll uh, understand the relevance of, you know, doing this particular setup in your actual selenium automation so let me go ahead quickly and create a new you know maven project so i'll simply create a new project and do a maven project and um, dot rcv academy and then i'll say uh, read file in this case okay or just say read write file name as the project and here uh, so we have discussed previously that any of the resources for the test right so uh, can be stored in the src test resources so properties file can be one of our resources so i'll create a package named as properties okay and then we'll just create a package uh, create a folder there and then another you know uh, package in the src test java which i'll name is as tests right so your test will be in the test folder and then any properties that you want to store will store it in the properties file so if you go to right click on the folder that we created or package that we created in the resources go to new and you will see the file option there if you can't find it go to other and below general you will see the file option there okay select that click on next and name the property so i'll say uh, test data dot properties so please make sure that you add this you know extension dot properties um, in order to you know use it for the read and write or store the properties in your java class okay so that has been uh, created now in terms of uh, you know adding the values there so what we can do is we can simply add the values there so for example browser details i want to read from the properties from the external file i don't want to hard code that into my test case so i can say uh, you know the browser so we'll say browser and i'll say chrome okay and then url uh, so url you know will be different url so qa or preprod you can store all these urls and then depending on you know the test cases where you want to run these test cases you can pick that particular url or fetch that url from your actual you know class or the test class okay so for example in this case I'll simply say HTTPS um, google.com okay so these are the two properties that I stored in the properties file that I want to read and then you know after I'll read it I want to update the property file as well okay so I'll I've saved it let me write a test or simple uh, you know Java class and I'll name it as um, read write and just include the main class in this uh, sorry main method and here now the first important thing here is to understand what are the main classes that are available to read and write properties to the properties file and read it from the properties file okay so if you go to the documentation here the important concept to remember is that there is a class uh, in java util which is properties okay and then file input stream class and file output stream class okay so if you read this properties class so the properties class represent a persistent set of properties okay the properties can be saved to a stream or loaded from a stream okay so this is a class which will save uh, the properties to a stream or load from the stream and that is why we need other two classes which is the file input stream and out output stream to basically pass on those you know details to this particular properties class all right so this is really important to 
understand these concepts go through the java docs because um, just by you know knowing that there is a property class and you know there is a there is another class file input stream and output output stream that will help you to read and write um, doesn't give you know overall picture so to get the overall picture and better understanding um, it's very important to read these java docs and get the details why you are doing what you are doing okay and once you understand why you are doing the things that you are doing it will be much more easier for you to pick up and understand things okay so now we know that we need to use properties class and file input stream to read the file and data from the file and file output stream to re to write the data from the file okay and then there are certain methods within these classes that we'll use it use in order to read and write so these are the methods that are available okay so reading java docs will give you information about these methods as well you know if you go through the details of the class what methods are there what all can you use in your actual scenarios okay so now let's the first thing is to create the object of the class if we want to invoke the methods of any class we want to create the object right so we'll simply say the first class that we want to use is properties okay and we will say properties create an object for this and i'll say new properties okay right now import java.util okay now we have created an object of the properties class the next thing is to basically create an object of the input stream okay because the this properties if you see what it does is it you know um, it can be saved to a stream or loaded from a stream right so if you scroll down you will see you know the constructors okay create an empty property list with no default values or create an empty property list with specified de defaults all right so when you call the methods after creating the object say properties dot load so we'll be loading the file right and load will require load method will require input stream right so this method is the method that will be required to read the property properties from the property file and it requires input stream so we need to create an object of the input stream class as well okay so we'll simply say input sorry file input stream this is the class okay and i'll say input stream is equal to new input new file input stream okay and now this file input stream if you go to the documentation right here it requires the file okay which file you want to open so we have to specify the location of the file and where is our file if you simply right click go to properties this is the location of our properties file okay so we'll simply pass on that particular location here and now the object is ready for the file input stream and import the file input stream java.io and the error will be gone now the next step is to load you call the method load to load this particular property file okay so we can simply say properties dot load we can call the methods okay and input stream okay so input stream is what you need to pass on here in the load method right and then just give me a sec load stream oh sorry it is input stream i passed on the properties there that's all right now what you need to do is you need to just add throws declaration you have to add a uh, add throws throws declaration or add it to the try catch block okay and same thing here as well all right so if you add io exception the error will be gone right now our property is loaded now we can get the properties that are defined in our property file okay so to get the property that is defined in our property file what we can simply do is we can say we can call another you know method that is in the properties class okay so properties dot get property okay and specify the key of the property that you want to 
get the value for so browser say for example i want to get the details of the browser and that will be uh, you know returned with this get property method and if you see the return type is string so we can simply store it in a string or simply print it on the console okay so i'll i can simply say sys out and this will print that particular property browser property on the console and similarly if i want to print the url i'll simply get the property with the url so if i just right click and run it as java application you can see chrome and the url that we have saved in our properties file got printed successfully right so that's how you will uh, you know read the properties that's uh, you know the way to read the properties from the properties file now in order to write the properties so as the properties class we have seen it accepts you know input stream or out output stream the load method so you need to create a object of the output stream right if you want to write the values to a property file so you can simply copy that and change this input to output and similarly here we'll change it to output and change the name to output all right now we have created that just import file output stream and in order to write to that particular file what we need to do is we need to simply so for reading the file reading the values we need the method get property for writing we need to use the method set property so if you go to the properties class you will see set property right and you can specify the string key and value that you want to set so there are many other methods loading uh, from xml you can read from xml write from xml as well so which we'll cover later as well so now in the output stream what we need to do is we need to write right so we can simply say properties dot set property okay and i'll specify the key and value okay so for example i want to uh, set some you know data so test data that is being returned as, as i execute my test case and i want to store it in the property file for later you know um, i want to use it later in in further test cases then i can store it by using set property by providing the name whatever name say for example test data and i'll say uh, the data that i got or the customer number that i got is something you know some string there okay and i can store it in the particular property file so in this test.properties file it will get stored with this particular key and the value all right now the next step is to basically call the method to store right so for example to read the data we need to use the load method to write the data we just need to use the method store okay so we'll simply say properties dot store all right and it's just specify the output stream and the comments if you want to add any comments okay so output stream is output stream that's the object and say you want to also include the comments along with this addition so you can say uh, this uh, is customer data from test case 2 or something like that okay so this is optional if you don't want to specify the string you can simply say you know null all right uh, but if you want to specify the the value or the comment that will be added okay so that's all you need to do in order to write the values to the properties file let's run it and see that we are getting the properties if we open the test dot properties you can see that the comment got added here this is customer data from tc right and test data whatever data we have provided has been added in the test data dot properties file right so these are the only steps that you are required in order to read and write properties to the dot properties file in your uh, you know java program and this will be really helpful in selenium automation we will be using it when we go to the advanced you know framework concepts and uh, will utilize this now the other important thing is basically if you want to you know make sure that this so here we are you know hard coding this location here right so what we'll do is in the next tutorial i'll explain you how to remove the hard coding so that 
once you you know share your project to someone else or someone else uh, you know imports this particular project they don't have to keep changing this hard coding uh, of uh, you know the location that you have done because this location uh, is specific to your you know machine because you are storing the project in the eclipse workspace and this is the project they might be storing it in d or you know other drive right so we'll understand how you can um, remove this as well as we'll also understand the importance of reading the values from the properties file in your actual selenium test case so that's all for this tutorial about reading and writing values to the properties file hope you like it thank you very much for watching